It's now been more than 24 hours since this explosion in Beirut's port, and volunteers like the ones behind me are still trying to clean up the streets, clean the glass and the debris out of this neighborhood. I'm about 500 meters away. You can actually see the port uh, there behind me. That area is completely flattened, but even here, even 500 meters away, you can see 20 stories up. This building has been completely destroyed. Now, a lot of the volunteers I'm talking to came from all over Lebanon today to help clean up the capital city. But they're also very angry at their government. Protesters have been in the streets here since October and those protests were in some ways silenced by the COVID-19 pandemic. But what people are telling me today is that as soon as the rubble is cleaned up from the streets of Beirut, they'll be back in the streets. <laughs> And I actually saw uh, a group of protesters from the northern city of Tripoli come along this road just about uh, one hour ago. And with the port destroyed and the financial crisis that Lebanon has been uh, suffering for, for months already, it seems difficult to know how they'll possibly manage to rebuild. You know, for example, you can see all this, these shattered windows around me. Uh, Lebanon doesn't produce glass. They're going to have to import that. And the currency here has lost almost 80% of its value. So everybody I'm speaking to today is extremely concerned about the future of the country. Rebecca Collard, CBC News, Beirut.